If you're a freelancer of any sort, you need a personal brand. Without one, you're gonna miss out on opportunities, income, revenue, and you're gonna fall behind other writers and freelancers that do have a personal brand. And I've seen it from personal experience of being a copywriter and a marketer. Having a personal brand gets clients and opportunities coming to you. You stand out, you get that competitive advantage, and it just makes you look more professional and helps with your branding and overall presence. But I've seen it again and again with students that they don't have a personal brand, no website, they're not putting out any content. Some of them don't even have the bare minimum of having social media profiles. Now, if that sounds like you, you're making a really big mistake, but it is easy to fix and it has great results. And in this video, I'll cover exactly Exactly how you can start building a personal brand and get all the benefits coming from it. Number one, which is probably the most important, is having your own website. And no longer do you have to code a website from scratch and it's all complicated and complex. It's actually easier than ever. I like using WordPress personally because it's very customizable. It does have a big steeper learning curve, but you can use it and then use things like Elementor, Astra and different themes and plugins to help you along the way, drag and drop builders. But if you want something that's a bit more streamlined right out of the box, there's Squarespace, Wix, Weebly, solutions like that, even landing page software and platforms you can use. Just get something up that shows your branding, who you are, what you do, how you can help your clients and prospects, have an about page, service pages, detailing exactly what you do and how people can get started, have contact information, and also have a blog because next we're gonna be touching on content marketing. But also on your website, you do wanna have a portfolio to show off all of your work, whether you're a web designer, a graphic designer, a copywriter most likely. Have somewhere on your website where a page lives that shows off all your work because often when clients come to you, even if you have a lot of good testimonials, a logo bar, things of that nature, they want to see your work because it shows exactly what you're capable of. It shows them the kind of content and advertisements you can write. It shows them the kind of websites you could develop. Depending on your niche and what you do, just make sure you show that off. Even if it's just a couple of things, if you're a beginner, just have some work you can show. Social proof is also really important as you start building up your freelance business. Have testimonials, whether it's just written ones, if it's graphics, videos, any kind of social proof helps a lot because again, when companies come to you and they wanna work with you, they wanna make sure that you have experience and other businesses have had a good experience with you. And that's why social proof is really, really powerful. And it's actually proven that in most cases, people will look for social proof before working with any business, whether it's B2B or B2C. So as you build up that social proof, make sure it lives on your website. And before we move on to the rest of the video, I want to thank today's sponsor, Vendasta. They are an all-in-one software platform for agencies and marketers that service local businesses. And with Vendasta, you're equipped with all the tools you need to market, sell, bill, and fulfill solutions for your clients. Give your clients a white label app filled with essential solutions every local business needs, including a CRM, social media management, local SEO, and reputation management. Meanwhile, their automated reporting tool gives your clients peace of mind about the return on investment while your agency bills them a monthly subscription that gets deposited right into your bank account. Then you can even meet more customer needs with their extensive marketplace to build tailored packages for your clients featuring best of breed products from companies like Google and Meta. You can get started with a 14 day free trial in the description. And next up, as I mentioned, is content marketing. So you can have your website and have those things in order, but you have to be putting out content to build up that audience and that trust. Again, it's actually proven that most businesses will actually convert after consuming a few pieces of content. So maybe they come to your social media profiles, they come to your website, they read that blog, they watch a video you produced, and it just builds that trust in that relationship and it shows that you're active and you're really trying to give value and build that relationship with them and then they'll be much more likely to reach out. Now content marketing comes in a million different forms. I usually recommend blogging because it's kind of a lower barrier to entry. You can start it on your website, you can use LinkedIn, you can use medium.com for free. There's a lot of platforms you can get started right away and it allows you to get better at your writing skills. It allows you to rank on search engines and get traffic and awareness that way and leads just coming to you. And in one of my previous videos, I mentioned with getting 10K a month as a copywriter, that local SEO is really important. So whether you're a copywriter, a designer, a developer, learn about local local search engine optimization. The practice of optimizing your pages and your website for your location and your services. You could be appearing for Toronto web designer, Toronto graphics designer, New York copywriter, things like that. Again, people are looking up that exact location and the service and it has a high conversion rate because typically these are businesses that need that service and they'll be very likely to click your website and then book a meeting and reach out. But content marketing also lives on social media. You can be active doing video content on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, you can even just post text posts and images on there, follow other pages, comment, engage with them, build those kind of connections and relationships. And then other forms would be video. Video is really powerful, even though I know it can be a little daunting to get on camera, talk and show your face, it's a skill. And it's also a good competitive advantage because a lot of people don't wanna be on camera. So if you kind of gain that confidence and that skill, it's really effective for building up your brand and your audience. Podcasting is also really, really powerful right now. You can easily do it from your phone, your computer, just record some content. You can use OBS 
or Audacity on your computer for free, start recording content, upload it to platforms like Spotify, Amazon, SoundCloud, and build up your audience in that way. Email marketing as well, as you have your website growing in these platforms, you can actually have an email newsletter or offer them something for free, maybe a checklist or a cheat sheet in exchange for their email, and then you can send them promotions and content in the back end. What's nice about this is that email marketing actually has the highest ROI of any marketing channel and you're building a private audience. You know, when it comes to maybe social media and these different things, you don't necessarily own it. Facebook does or Instagram or TikTok, but with your email list, it's yours. It's your private audience. You've built it, you've built those connections and you can market to them. But of course you wanna respect their inbox and their privacy. So typically you would send them maybe a few pieces of valuable information and content and then you might promote your products or your services. And we're mostly focusing on having an online presence, but having a physical presence and brand is really important too. What I like doing is looking up maybe local meetups and networking events and conferences. Just get in the habit of getting out there. You can use Vistaprint and similar websites to get cheap business cards, hand those out, build those relationships. And you never know actually what that can turn into. You can get referrals, build partnerships where you refer each other different businesses, depending on what industry you're in. And it can be really helpful just to kind of get your name out in the community, especially maybe if you're in a certain area that's really active with businesses and your industry. All of these things, we do them together, builds up your presence, your name. People know exactly who you are. They remember you, they talk about you, they share your content. And it's one of the best ways as a freelancer, or even if you're in corporate, to have jobs, opportunities, and clients just coming to you at your doorstep organically. If you wanna learn more about online marketing you check out my other courses and content in the description you can subscribe to the channel if you're new also let me know down in the comments if there's something you'd like me to cover in a future video i also have my online academy where you get coaching and courses from me and the private community so look into that if you're interested specifically in copywriting and freelancing other than that hope you're having an awesome week and i'll see you very soon